I love chromaticism. So people talk to me about pentatonic, and I do this thing with pentatonics where it's like, okay, well, everybody's so pentatonic, like anti-pentatonic. I'm like, what? Mm. But have you done everything you can do? Like when people go, hey, man, why don't you play seven string guitar? And I'm like, because I haven't done everything with six. There you go. Right? There you go. So when they're like, well, what, you, what are you doing? You're just doing glorified pentatonic? I mean, you can call it glorified if you want. Mm. But if this is, without adding a flat five. Okay. This is just the pentatonic lick. <laughs> You're just changing the order a little bit mm. and spreading it out. Yeah. Then when you get in a flat five going, um, it's like you just—it's yeah. all dependent on with a flat five. It's—it's it's the same thing as, but you're just doing the whole neck. So is that what happens when you're just in like the first box? Like what happens when you're just in the standard? You know, uh, just doing the. Is there anything that we can kind of like, you know, like manipulate there without like, in, until we get to being able to go up and down the fretboard like that? Well, I mean, there's always something like, for instance, okay, so say we're doing this, right? So like, there's always like a... You know, yeah. there's that, there's like a... There's that, there's like changing the orders, it's like sequence thing, right? Yeah. And then when you start moving around, it's uh, you're like, uh, it's the same, exact same notes, you're just play, playing three notes per string instead of alternating between two and three. Or, and you can add stuff like. Tasty. There's all that stuff. Yeah. And then, to me, this is still pentatonic when I'm going like a. Because you're basically, I, I mean, I, I did a video on this the other day. It's 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 kind of ugly when it's slow. Because mm. it's like, I mean, a. Now the cool thing about thing, this is just the pattern, and taking that pattern and moving moving it down two strings. Right. Okay. And that to me, it's actually. If I try stuff visually first, yeah. and if it sounds good, awesome. If it doesn't sound good, you move on. Sure. But that sounds good to me, and because it's got a flat five in it, and it's got both thirds. I love both thirds, like these. Right? I love. I love like, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, and it's like uh, the other thing is too is um, pentatonic. I've done this a lot, but it's like you got your boxes, right? So you take all these boxes down the two strings and you Whoa. See? Whoa. That's never happened before. And then you take all the pen and Did we get that on tape? <laughs> <laughs> and it's still in, baby! So tell us where you got the string pull trick from. No, just <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Hey, Dude, that's great. That's because it, it's like when it's shown like that, like when you hear it like that, it doesn't sound like the same old. Right. And that's what I'm trying, you know, people like, you can say whatever you want. I know what I like, and not everybody likes the same flavor ice cream. Mm -hmm. So we all have different, we like different tones, we like different uh, flavors of overdrive. Some people like the lush reverb and delay. We're playing dry today. Yeah. Right? Cause I don't. I can't believe you told me to turn the reverb off. I, I, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. He's like, I, man, I, yeah. I don't like I him like, anymore. Are you sure. But it's like, and then, see, this is also. I showed you all those little boxes, but in, if you want to change it around, I started. I turned it into a five-note phrase. Mm -hmm. So I'm going, like, say, for instance. <laughs> so that, yeah, and it's great. all. But you're changing. Sometimes a five-note phrase, you don't have to be in it a different time. It's like, 